In Japan's capital, Tokyo, urban functions are highly concentrated and large numbers of people live in coastal regions facing the sea. However, the coastal regions and the eastern part of the 23 wards include low-lying areas which have flooded frequently in the past. Storm surges are caused by typhoons and earthquake-triggered tsunamis. Today, with abnormal weather events ever more frequent, what is Tokyo doing to counter storm surges and tsunamis? Let's look at the coastal disaster prevention measures taken by the Port of Tokyo. The Port of Tokyo has suffered storm surge damage from typhoons for centuries. Storm surges are mainly caused by a suction effect and a wind blowing effect. When a typhoon approaches, air pressure drops. The atmosphere's power to hold down the ocean in the vicinity of the typhoon weakens and the sea level is sucked up. In addition, the seawater is whipped up by the typhoon, slams into the coast, has nowhere to go, and the sea level rises further. The port of Tokyo in particular is located at the farthest reaches of Tokyo Bay. And because the water there is shallow, when the wind from the south is strong, the seawater has nowhere to go. And because of the wind blowing effect, the sea level tends to rise. In addition to the fact that the coastal regions and the eastern part of the 23 wards have always been low lying, the ground has subsided due to groundwater pumping so the area below sea level has increased. Due to these topographical features, the port of Tokyo has suffered extensive storm surge damage many times in the past. And today, the low-lying land exposed to storm surges shown in yellow is equal to about 40% of the 23 wards. Furthermore, the so-called zero-meter zone, lower than sea level at high tide, displayed in red, is about 20% of the 23 wards, where 1.5 million people live. On the other hand, disaster mitigation measures to counter earthquakes and tsunamis have increased since the Great East Japan Earthquake. An earthquake is caused by variation in the Earth's crust, and a tsunami is caused by vertical movement in the surrounding seawater. According to an April 2012 study entitled Predictions of Damage from an Epicentral Earthquake Beneath Tokyo, the maximum height of the anticipated tsunami would be about 2.6 meters above sea level. In other words, the low-lying parts of the coastal areas of Tokyo are at risk of both storm surges and tsunamis. The Bureau of Port and Harbor is developing coastal protection facilities to prevent flood damage from storm surges and tsunamis. The key to this is seawalls to keep the sea out. The port of Tokyo's seawalls are designed about 3.5 to 7 meters high to withstand a storm surge as powerful as that generated by the Ise Bay Typhoon, which caused the worst storm surge damage in the history of Japan. This is high enough for any anticipated tsunami. We surround the low-lying coastal areas with these seawalls and block parts at the canals or roads that interrupt the seawalls with floodgates and inland locks. If a typhoon causes a storm surge, we close the floodgates and inland locks to prevent flooding from the sea. Furthermore, the area inside the seawalls is itself surrounded by interior seawalls, and if the water level in the canals rises, it's pumped out by the drainage pump stations.
So how do we actually prevent flooding? This is the second storm surge management center located in Konan, Minato Ward. It is the first line of defense in protecting the port of Tokyo from storm surges and tsunamis. Here we monitor Port of Tokyo conditions 24 hours a day and operate the floodgates. October 2017, Typhoon Lan hits the city of Tokyo. A storm surge warning for the city is issued for the first time in 38 years. How would storm surge management measures unfold in such a situation? The staff at the center begin to prepare for the typhoon's approach. When a typhoon approaches, the floodgate is remotely closed, depending on the sea level. Shiodomegawa floodgate closing. This is a floodgate to prevent storm surge inflow. It takes less than 10 minutes to close from the start of operation. If a power failure occurs due to an earthquake, for example, private power generation is available, and if remote communications are interrupted, Staff can go to the gates and close them manually. Where a seawall intersects a road, an inland lock is used, and this can be closed to keep the sea out. The typhoon has moved closer. Wind and rain are intensifying. And as the heavy rain continues, a new risk is brewing. The water level of the canal inside the seawall is rising. This is an interior seawall inside the seawall and floodgates. It prevents flood damage from rising canal water levels. But when the water gates are closed in preparation for the storm surge, the rain may still cause water to rise beyond the interior seawall and spill over from the canal. Therefore, some canal water must be released into the sea. At that time, the drainage pump station's remarkable capacity comes into its own. This is Shibaura Drainage Pump Station. Inside are three engines and drainage pumps. The Shibaura facility pumps have the power to empty a 25-meter swimming pool in seconds. With the approach of the typhoon, the water level of the canals inside the floodgates has risen. Water level check. Okay. Start the pumps. The drainage pump station engines start up. The drainage pumps start to turn. The water in the canal drains out and the water level stops rising. And now the super large and powerful Typhoon Lan, which hit the port of Tokyo, has moved away. This time the sea level rose about one meter maximum, but the coastal protection facilities worked effectively to prevent any damage from the storm surge. And that's how Tokyo is kept safe. The coastal area of Tokyo is protected by about 54 kilometers of seawalls.
and seawalls, floodgates, and other facilities are currently being strengthened to resist the largest projected earthquakes and tsunamis. At the same time, power, machinery, and equipment are being made flood resistant to keep them operational during flooding. In addition, we are also working to strengthen mutual backup systems and have two storm surge management centers that remotely operate the floodgates and other equipment. To protect Tokyo from storm surges and tsunamis, the Bureau of Port and Harbor will continue to take all possible measures 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.